Sweden will send military aid worth 13.3 billion Swedish crowns or $1.3 billion to Ukraine, its biggest package so far, to aid the war against the Russian invasion, the Nordic country's government said. The package would among other things help strengthen the Ukrainian air defense and included Saab's airborne surveillance and control 890 aircraft, RB-99 medium-range air-to-air missiles and artillery ammunition, and all of its Model 302 armored infantry fighting vehicles, Defense Minister Paul Johnson told. The Swedish government said last week it had agreed on additional military support to Ukraine totaling 75 billion Swedish crowns or $7.1 billion over three years. Paul Johnson reiterated that the country has ruled out for now sending any Swedish-built JAS-39 Gripen jets to Ukraine, saying the focus on the Ukrainian side is on implementing the F-16 program. Johnson said Sweden is still working on possibly being able to contribute with the Gripen system later. The donation also includes two Swedish-made Saab ASCC airborne early warning and control airplanes, saying that it will have the greatest effect on the Ukrainian air defense because it will complement and reinforce the promised donations of American F-16 fighter jets, Johnson said. You can identify incoming cruise missile, you can identify drones and identify targets both on land and at sea, he said. The overall assessment is that a donation of the ASC-890 radar reconnaissance and command aircraft would be the most impactful for the Ukrainian Air Force right now, Johnson added. The support package will be the 16th from Sweden since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began. Belgium will commit to providing 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028, according to Belgian Foreign Minister Haja Labib. She said that the first fighter jets are to be delivered to Ukraine by the end of the year. According to her, this commitment will be officially formalized in a security guarantees agreement, which will be signed today by Ukraine and Belgium. The Belgian Ministry of Defense will also transfer ammunition from its stockpiles to equip the F-16s for Ukraine. According to the minister, this support for Kyiv is necessary to stop Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, who is determined to push back the borders of European countries and ensure the security of Belgium. Last year, Ukraine and its allies formed an aviation coalition with the goal of providing Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. The transfer of aircraft will occur gradually. According to President Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine needs more than 100 aircraft in total to achieve parity of forces in the air. Recently, the first group of Ukrainian pilots completed training in Arizona. They are now heading to Europe for further training.